hi I am back with another video in this video I will be uh, demonstrating how to create docx file or PDF files uh, which works as a report uh, from a SharePoint list using MS flows so to start with I have created one product catalog list which will contain the product items their quantity and their prices and all these data I would like to export in a docx file and uh, further would like to create one PDF file out of it so for this I will be creating one flow and I will be creating instant flow from blank we will name it as invoice report flow and because I would like to trigger this report manually so I will be just selecting the trigger as manual so now I will be adding one uh, action that is get items because I would like to get fetch the items from SharePoint list SPFX, this is my SharePoint child. This project catalog is my list. <coughs> now I would like to initialize uh, one variable so that I can uh, have or uh, read out the uh, SharePoint list items data. I will rename uh, it as invoice array and type of array. I'll leave the initial value as empty <coughs> so now i would like to use one action that is applied to each so that i can read out all the items and in this thing i would be using the value of list items i just add another action that is append to variable append to array so array which I initially created and just select that variable I'll be just uh, creating the I'll be just creating the array so item and I'll just uh, put down that value of that item from dynamic right now I'm just writing it uh, going to the these are commas if you can't see it and price so now I'll just keep appending the dynamic thing price which is there in my list quantity So now it's a valid uh, JSON file. Okay, so now I got uh, all the my all the items added to this array. So as in, I'll just add the next step that is the main main step of populating the work document. Okay, so let me populate word. Okay, here it is. So it's a premium connector. I'll just populate this one. So now, now the tricky thing comes in. So I this this action asks me to pick the doc template, and uh, so before that, I have to have my doc template ready. So this is my sample document. So you need to just create one document, and uh, because we would be using it as a template, so the developer option you have to enable it so go you have to go to the options thing then uh, customize ribbon and from this add this developer option so once you have this you start seeing this developer in your ribbon now all these controls will starting appear so this is template uh, this is a normal template which I have created so you can just uh, add up any other control so for example this thing and then have this assign some property title and tag so later on we'll be just binding the report data to this control so because i am already having this content so i can just get rid of this uh, the duplicate one so i just remove the control okay 
So now coming back to the, uh, the bubbled word template. So I would be using this template from SharePoint site. document and this top template okay so now it will give me a uh, area to enter the 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 array thing array data so in this i can just simply write down my values as well as uh, i can simply assign the invoice array which i created earlier and it has to be in the json format so i'll just uh, writing it the report details is the is my control which I've created in the word doc this one and then now I'm binding the invoice array to it okay so now we have the values assigned to our template now I will add another another action that is create file and this create file will create a file in the SharePoint. I'll just uh, use my connectors folder path that is documents share documents. Okay, file name I can assign the file name invoice. Uh, And content of the file would be the MS Word which we created in the previous step. So till now we are good. We have we are reading the SharePoint data and we are populating one uh, document template and then creating file using the document template. I'm just saving it. And as a test run, I'm just giving it a file run. Okay continue and run a flow okay okay so file is created so let's see where is that okay there's the file I'm just opening it okay cool so now it does contain the data which I have passed to it the SharePoint data item laptop quantity one so this is just a sample so if you are uh, much familiar with the uh, how to create the layouts and the and the de uh, the the designs with the word documents then you can just fit in this content as per your design to make the reports so now the next step creating this uh, document in pdf so i'm now i'm just uh, keep building keep writing to this same flow so I'll just uh, use another convert word to PDF. There is an action word document. Let me find that out. Okay, convert document to PDF. This is again a premium connector. So now I'll just use my SharePoint SPFX and the documents. Now I'll browse through the document. Okay, so it has not started looking, uh, taking that invoice docx, so I'll just save it. Okay, so for time being, I'm just passing this and then saving and refreshing the same flow so that it can start reading again editing it to it convert word document pdf so there are several connectors for it but we would be using the the provided by microsoft picking our site and now, now we we can see that in voice topx so this file will be picking up to convert a PDF now after converting we will be creating another file in the same library okay. 
I'll be just selecting the document library. There it is. And the name of the file, so I'm just I can just rename it to invoice PDF. And the file is a PDF document from the previous time. So now we are good to go. I'll just rerun my flow just to test that that word invoice file should get created to PDF. So flow is running. Okay. Okay, here it is. Invoice PDF is ready. So let's just give it a view. Okay. So it does write our data SharePoint data to the PDF. That's cool. And this was the data which was saved in SharePoint list. So in nutshell, uh, if we are familiar with how to create the layout designs in the docx for the reports and then binding the data from the SharePoint list and then writing back back to the docx files and then creating in turn in the PDF files, that would uh, uh, complete the entire process of creating reports. And uh, there, there's a very practical example like uh, the 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 users like used to maintain the data in SharePoint list, but at last they want to export in PDF so that they can share the data further within the teams or uh, to some different client. So I think uh, this video would be helpful for you. Thank you for now.